front of Renfrew High School and we are going to go in and meet some students. Come with me. I'm the head teacher here. We're always keen to have visitors. We're always keen to share what we do in our school and to learn what education and learning looks like in different places. So you're very welcome. <laughs> you're okay for filming. <laughs> Folks, we're going up to a maths classroom just to do some filming and stuff. What is your opinion uh, on you kids wearing uniforms? Um, I don't really like it, but like sometimes it can be okay because it's just like easy to like just put it on. Yeah, I don't mind uniform because I feel like for, if I was to wear like my own clothes, you'd have to like think every day of like what to wear and stuff. So yeah, I think it's, it's quite, quite good just because you, you just have it to wear like all the time. We have to wear these ties and like a shirt and like the girls can wear like leggings or like tights and a skirt and like the boys wear trousers. Those are the ones that were really, really good. Me, I'm around somewhere over here looking tight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you want to ask us some questions? Cool. What? Do you get depressed during school like when school gonna end? Like just wanting to like not do anything right. anymore, just like <laughs> So so after break, um in a, in about five minutes we're they're going to do an English lesson. Yeah. 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 And some poetry. Um, okay. with one of my young teachers. As I would like you to think about your experience so far in Scotland and also your feelings, your emotions that you've experienced in Scotland as well. I want you to use Danish and English as well because I would like you to teach me some words to describe your experiences. Okay? So again, as many words as you can on the big sheet in Danish first and then English describing the sights, the sounds and your experiences in Scotland so far. Does this make sense everybody? Yeah? Yes. yeah? Cool. Go for it. In English you say sonis, mm -hmm. and in Danish you say solrit. Solrit, because that's one. It more sounds like, uh, like you drive on the left side or you drive on the right side. Alright, okay, cool. Takes a word, like Scotland, and each line of the poem has to begin with that letter. So the first line begins with S. The second line begins with the letter C. We're going to start off thinking about DNA. So what we're going to do in just a minute is we're going to split you guys into half. So there's going to be 14 of you will go next door, 16 of you will stay here. Your hair has got DNA, yeah. Skin, everything, yeah. Wonderful. DNA. What springs to mind when you say DNA? Uh, it, it's what makes you you. What makes, yeah. Exactly, that's why I would start off with. It's what, what makes you you. Yeah. <laughs> So what we do when we're lighting it is we make it half open, half closed, so that we're letting a wee bit of oxygen. Okay, so hand right in front of you. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Hand head back. Yeah. Oops. Okay, hand right in front of you. You ready? Oh. Is it sore? Yes. No, I was not. No, no, no. I was like, yes. <laughs> Your filter funnel. Your partner might need to hold the paper to start with. Okay, might need to hold it. Finding the DNA of the strawberry. Looks like strawberry juice. What we've got to add to it is we've got to add 
some ethanol in. Okay, make sure it's on the side, pour very carefully. And what you will see is if you see something in there, I don't want to tell you what, that will be your DNA. I tell you to go, it's going to move forward, okay? We've got a line here where the robots are going to turn back. You click here, it allows you to change degrees, rotations, or seconds. Hey everybody! Hello! I'm in this church. Yeah? No. <laughs> church. Church. I mean a castle. Castle. Hi, we're standing at the top of Crookston Castle and it goes back to the 1200th century. I know it's been a short visit, but I hope it's been a good learning experience for you. And I know you did some filming with the, the Rain for High pupils. Um, I don't know, was that today or yesterday? So I'm hoping to see some of that. We'll get some of the, when it's, when it's edited, when it's finished, um, we'll get the film and we will show it to the councillors here in, in Paisley. Um, and I'm sure we'll appreciate that very much. So thank you for coming to Paisley and you're very welcome and hope to see you again. You've been feeling really, really welcome to it, so thank you very much for that. And today, uh, at, the, at the Renfrew High School, we had a really, really special day. Uh, a perfect day, I might say, because uh, they had made such an impressive uh, program for us. And, and I know that you are actually quite new, so, so this is for your office. Oh, thank you. So, thank you. Enjoy the visiting school. Yeah. Good. It's about quality of life yeah. and yeah. you know having some mm. relaxation. Mm. Yeah. 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 We could adopt it here. I think you're good at relaxing, yes. aren't you? Yeah, and it's very hygge. <laughs> <laughs> this place morning. is very hygge. Yeah. This place here. It's very hygge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very, very hygge. <laughs> That's good. Top of that mountain. Hello, everyone. As you can see, we're at the top of the mountain. Benan is very beautiful and magnificent. Look at that landscape. What an impressive view. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what you was carding. They used to carding. Do, what do the last bells one together? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the kids are really, really trying. I mean, just definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it looks wonderful. Yeah. And what about you? What do you think? I think it's beautiful. Yes, we made it. <laughs> Hi, 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 test. Uh, how long does it take to you, for you to make a kilt? One kilt is 14 hours. 14? Yes, it's all hand, handmade completely. All the sewing is all hand, not, not machined. How much does a kilt cost? A approximately 300 pounds, depending how much material goes into it. That's around 2,500 Danish crowns. I dare say. <laughs> is there uh, any kills for women or is it only for men? No, just for men. 
Uh, that's for, for the girls to wear for Highland dancing. So the girls, they, they do wear kilts? Oh, yes, yeah, but they shouldn't. They, <laughs> but they, they shouldn't? <laughs> oh, that's something, to, that's your opinion. <laughs> no, 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 that's a lot of opinions because they were for men. Yeah. But times are changing. I, w- I would say in Gaelic, Kimbrahau. Kimbrahau. Yeah, how yes. are you? That's very okay. well said. Yeah. <laughs> We are living here at PGL's camping and now we are going to show you around. This is the dining room where we eat breakfast and dinner and we make sandwiches for our lunch. This is where we live and I will show you our rooms. This is where I live. So here's six pets. the top of the Karen Astada and it's, it's a Monroe mountain which means it's almost one kilometer tall. Sky now we are at ba- Blair Castle and we are about to go in and see the castle. It was very well done. Great trip, well organised, and uh, a good, a good group of kids. Uh-huh. Teachers were all right. Sorry, the teachers were okay too. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you think? Uh, I didn't what think the teachers were very good. We could maybe uh, manage some better teachers next time. Would be better. <laughs> I loved the whole thing. The kids were great, and the teachers were also. Great. I think that I like you best. <laughs> <laughs> 